You've been talking too much. Just leave me alone for this moment. Hi, everyone. If you're new here, I'm Star Model X, aka Model Creator. I make videos about 3D modeling, painting, and edits. I'm a senior college grade interior designing student and architecture. This is my story on how Roblox Studio helped me upgrade my modeling skills through years. And it all started when I first knew about Roblox in 2012. Back when it was peaceful and nostalgic, I had a profile before Star Model X that was Sari Anok. It was my main account before I created this channel. And, yes, I copied the name from the famous developer Serenok, which is the developer of Catalog Heaven and other games. I was a fan of his game, and I really did enjoy making games, until one day I downloaded Roblox Studio accidentally, and I wasn't sure what that program was. I read more about it, and found that I could make games with it, and publish it with other players. It was like a big dream for me to have my own game, to earn a currency that was used to be in Roblox, before, called Tix. It was a second free currency in Roblox that was used to purchase game passes, shirts, and accessories back in the day, and I had difficulty with getting enough ticks by the moment. And there was a way to make 10 ticks by getting 10 visits for your game. Once there, I decided to make a game in Roblox and not gonna lie. That made me feel like a professional in front of my brothers. When I started, I was trying to copy other games. I used to use free models and scripts because I was bad at both modeling and scripting. I created lots of games, all by using free models, and none of them really worked well. So I gave up. As I was growing up, I had the hobby of doing arts and crafts, and I had that one art teacher who used to sculpt foam and craft some stuff in the art room. I was his favorite student by the time, and he kept asking other teachers for permission to take me during the class, just for me to help him in the crafts and upgrade my crafting skills. He saw something in me that maybe one day I could be a craftsman. I kept doing crafts stuff with papers and cardboard and cheap materials to create maquettes and props from other games, until one day I met an older pal who was a game scripter. He looked at the props I made crafted from games and said to me that I had a skill that I'm good with visualizing and analyzing objects and copy it. And why don't I try 3D modeling? He said to me that his team already needed a 3D modeler and looked at me and said that he would pick me for this job if I got better at modeling. So he suggested some programs other than Roblox because Roblox wasn't for modeling, he said, he suggested Cinema 4D and gave it to me. So when I tried it, I didn't really enjoy it as I was a kid because it was difficult for me to understand it at that age I was in. I stopped using it and stuck back with Roblox after that. I tried to prove him wrong and prove that Roblox was actually worth trying. Solid modeling was released at that moment. And if you guys don't know what solid modeling is, it's simply the process of joining parts together in unique ways to form more complex shapes known as unions or intersections. You can perform four solid modeling operations using the tools within the model tab. It was what made me stick with Roblox until now. It changed my perspective on how I could create 3D objects by just using four types of parts, part, wedge, cylinder, and sphere. At first, I wasn't good at using them. I used to make models with a non-accurate increment, and my models were ugly. But I kept trying to model and copy other games' props like how I used to do when I craft something. Through time, in 2017, I got a little bit capable of making a similar but not accurate copy of props by only those four types of parts. And later on, I had an idea of collecting and making an advanced mesh pack so I could do a variety of modeling by using these meshes that form parts that are difficult to make with Roblox Studio. So when I got a little bit better, I decided to make a YouTube channel where I do speed builds and modeling so I can prove that Roblox Studio is also for modeling and to encourage myself to keep modeling and upload and not gonna lie. Every positive comment I got was encouraging me to do better and keep doing this and love it even more. 
You guys are really what really made me love this and obtain it as a job, not as a hobby. As I was growing up, using Roblox Studio made me acknowledge how modeling, lighting, sculpting, and texturing work. It did enhance my knowledge of how modeling works, like how parts are just vertices connected together, and by moving them you could create a variety of models and finish them with textures and good light. Roblox Studio was really helpful for me, because when I joined the college, my 3D skills and knowledge were ahead of other students, and it helped me to create the 3D interior shots for my college field instead of using 3D Max, I admire that 3D Max is another whole level of rendering and modeling, but observe how much time it takes to model a full room in Roblox Studio versus in 3DS Max. Roblox Studio is surely a time saver instead of 3DS Max, but it does take away the quality of the rendered photos, with no shadows or high quality resolution. But, you know, it gets the work done. And until now, I still hope that they serve an individual course about Roblox Studio just for the beginners. Through college, I started to use other 3D modeling programs like Blender and 3DS Max so I could expand my knowledge. Now I can do 3D modeling not just for game development, but also for 3D printing. I'll be uploading 3D printing videos soon enough. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of them. And that's how Roblox Studio made me who I'm today. It will and still have that place in my heart and appreciation for this journey. I hope you guys enjoyed this story of mine. I hope I made an impact on your creativity skills through my videos. I appreciate you and every support I get from you. You're really the motivation source for me to continue and keep making videos. I understand that I don't upload constantly, and I have a problem organizing and managing my time, but I promise to keep doing better under my possibility. And I wanted to take a moment to address something that's been on my mind lately. As many of you know, I receive a lot of requests for collaborations, and collaborations can be a huge commitment of time and energy. I want to be upfront with you all, it's hard for me to accept every collaboration that comes my way. My schedule is already pretty packed, and taking on too many projects at once can be overwhelming. So if I have to say no to someone who asks me for a collaboration, please know that it's not because I don't value your work or think you're talented. It's simply because I have to prioritize my own projects and well-being. That being said, I still want to provide value to all of you who are interested in learning from me. That's why I'll continue to create tutorials and videos that share my knowledge and expertise with you. If you're looking for help or guidance, I encourage you to check out my tutorials and videos first. They're designed to be helpful and informative, and they're a great way for me to share my knowledge with you without requiring a full-scale collaboration. Thank you for understanding, and I hope you'll continue to find value in what I do. And also thank you for watching. See ya.